Good morning everyone. Smart 5G router. What kind of speeds can you expect to reach? Well, I regularly hit between 300 and 400 megabit per second on my download and anywhere between 20 to 40 on the upload. This connects to your local cell tower via 5G, converts it to Wi-Fi so that all your devices in your home, like your cell phone, laptop, computer, TV, can connect to the internet. It's almost like having a fiber internet connection. In fact, our ping was 22 milliseconds. So very close, but completely wireless. And this is prepaid, so there's no contract. They don't have to run any wires into your property. It's a very cool piece of kit. Now I'm sure you're wondering, why is it so dusty? Well, actually I leave this outside on a windowsill because I want to make sure there's no obstructions between the router and the cell phone tower. But even indoors right now, we have a wall here, we have a wall all around us. We're getting very good signal. So it doesn't necessarily have to go outside, but I just put it there because I want to make sure I get the best possible connection. Obviously you don't want to let this get wet. It does have to be covered. It's not waterproof. When you buy this 5G router, they tell you it has an eSIM. But actually, if you look in the side here, we can actually bring out the SIM card. So it's just a regular nano SIM card. And I'm sure the next question is, well, how much do you pay for data? Because if you're paying for 10 gig, 20 gig, that's gonna get expensive. Well, I pay for Unly. And this whole journey started when I first made my video about the Rocket SIM around one year ago. During that time, it was 499 pesos, Unly internet, all you can. Now, during that time, there were three things that people said. Firstly, they said it will get more expensive. And yeah, it's true. They can't maintain it at 499, that's too cheap. So now the most recent package I'm paying for is OnlyFam1199. So we went from 500 pesos to 1200 pesos. I don't know if it's gonna to continue to climb. Every now and then they add another 100, add another 100. I think really the maximum that they could possibly consider is 1500 because once you hit 1500 I think people are going to start thinking to themselves I might as well just get fiber especially now that you can get pay-as-you-go fiber or prepaid fiber where you don't need to enter into a long-term contract that's something that Converge is offering through like a sister company or a daughter company I'm not sure exactly the second thing people said is it won't be truly unlimited once you hit a certain amount of data they're going to slow you down they're going to cut you off no, that's not true. I've been using this for, you know, a year basically from Rocket Sim until Unly, Unly Fam. And I use between 15 to 30 gigabytes per day. They never slowed me down. They never cut me off, nothing like that. So that's not true. It's really unlimited. Um, maybe if you're like abusive and you're downloading like terabytes of torrents, every week then maybe but for me I, I have no problem never been slowed down will it eventually slow down as more people adopt 5g cell phones 5g routers maybe but at the same time a lot more people are getting access to fiber internet and they're relying less on mobile data so I don't know I think we're we're gonna be okay for a while at least let's try fast.com and see how that goes this is operated by Netflix, so it gives you an idea of what you could expect for streaming videos through their servers. 280, let's run it again. Oh, there you go, even higher. That's the power of 5G, it's pretty impressive. And here on the Google speed test, we got 203 down. Uh, upload looks to be a bit worse. Sometimes it just depends on the test server, especially if it's outside of the country. If it's in the US or Europe, you could see worse results. Here on Netflix, let's try and download Fast and Furious 9, see how long that takes. So it's about to finish downloading now. That took a total of this many seconds. Boom. And if you're curious, that file is 806 megabytes, just to give you an idea of how long it took. As for normal streaming, let's just try and play a TV show. Jump ahead, instant, jump ahead, instant. It's pretty much like having a fiber connection, but there's no physical wires. Very if we open YouTube, let's jump ahead. Let's check our settings. We'll put it on 2160p buffering a little bit there you go let's jump ahead 
So bear in mind that's very high resolution and he's playing just like that. Boom. Now this router is actually designed to be plugged into the wall with this adapter, 12 volt, 2 amp. But right now I'm running it from a power bank. Two reasons why I did that. One, I just wanted to demonstrate that it's possible running it from a power bank, just in case you decided to take this and make it portable. The second reason is just because I don't have a socket nearby and I was lazy to get an extension cord. So can you run it from a power bank? Yeah, you can. This is a uh, 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. I'm using this special cord. You might think this is a step up converter from five volts to 12 volts, but no. This is actually a quick charge trigger. So it tells the power bank output 12 volts because this power bank can do it natively. That's good because it means we can power, you know, more hungry devices like this. So let's do another speed test. And while that speed test is running, I just want to show you the USB watt meter. So it's consuming, well, anywhere up to nine or 10 watts when it's under a heavy load. And then it drops down to three, four, five watts when it's not under a heavy load. Although saying that, the power bank that I picked up is pretty much empty already. I just plugged it into a different power bank and while it's booting up, I'll show you the features. So on the front, you have a set of LEDs, which basically just tell you uh, the power, whether it's connected to 4G or 5G, if the SIM card's inserted and if someone's connected via Wi-Fi. Obviously we have a lot of antennas here. They fold down, but that's pretty much it. You can't twist them, turn them or anything like that. They just fold down, which I guess is just to make it more portable for packaging. And if you wanted to take it somewhere with you. On the back of the unit, we have two ethernet ports. These are gigabit, which of course makes sense because if you only had a hundred megabit there, it would be useless for 5G. We have a reset button and a WPS button for your Wi-Fi, which I hope no one in this day and age would be using. Now Smart used to use a lot of Huawei devices. This one is actually from Green Packet, which is a lesser known company. But I can say this is a good router. I can leave this running for weeks without rebooting it. It doesn't crash, doesn't freeze, it doesn't lose its 5G connection. Unlike another 5G router that I had from Oppo, that was always filling up its memory and then crashing, freezing, slowing down, losing 5G for no apparent reason. So I'm happy with this device, even though it's from a lesser known company. So you know the monthly is 1199 pesos for Unli Fam, but how about the device itself? Well, it's not cheap. This is around 16,000 pesos. That's what I said to people recently when they said Starlink is expensive. I said, you realize how advanced that technology is with the satellite dish, the router, the satellites in a low earth orbit. And then you look at something like this, which is pretty much mainstream technology and it still costs 16,000. So actually Starlink, the amount that they're charging for their kit is very reasonable. So yeah, you can get cheaper 5G routers and they will work. The most common one locally is from Unicom which is uh, China and it's around 10,000 pesos. It used to have a problem where it was constantly freezing, bricking itself, like so many issues. If you Google it, you'll find so many people complaining about it. I think they already released a firmware update that solved a lot of those problems. So if you want to save some money, yeah, you could probably buy that 10,000 peso router on Shopee or Lazada. I don't know if it has NTC like this one, this one has a NTC sticker, obviously. So yeah, you can get cheaper routers, but if you want something that's stable and reliable, honestly, this is a good choice and you can walk into any smart store and buy this, provided they have stock. I kept calling around different stores and it took me a long time before I could finally find a store that has one in stock. So that's a challenge in itself. Now I'm sure if you check the comments, there's going to be a lot of people who say smart sucks, globe's better, or they'll say globe sucks, smart's better. The truth is, mostly it depends on where you live. How close are you to the tower? How many obstructions are between you and the tower? That's why I said this one is so dirty because I want to reduce obstructions. I want to make sure I get the best possible connection. What you could do before you buy something like this is 
use your phone if it supports 5G or borrow someone else's phone and check in your area first. Check in your home or your office or wherever you plan to use it. Check how good the quality of the signal is and then you can decide whether you want to invest in something like this. That's the way I did it. I used the phone first, saw the connection strong and you cannot beat that promo from Smart. 1200 pesos, only data, 5G, 4G. You can't beat that promo except if you go for wired internet which I can't do because when I asked PLDT they said no slots when I asked Globe they said no slots in fact Globe were calling me back every two weeks saying are you still interested do you want the fiber I would say yes they put me on hold come back and say no slots in the end I stopped answering the phone so that's why I ended up with this and it's worked out very well for me so I do recommend it but test your area first make sure you have a good signal not every area in the Philippines has 5G for example a lot of those far-flung places they might only have 4G or not even 4G it just depends so here in Metro Manila obviously we're very fortunate we have 5G all over the place anyway just a quick video hope you enjoyed it I'm very happy with this and I'll continue to use this as long as the promo price stays reasonable thanks for watching